you have to really change the way you think about your content strategy to be selfless, to say, how can I provide content that is valuable to the consumer and not to myself? And in fact, you should actually go out of your way to think, does this actually bring me any value whatsoever? And if the answer is no, it doesn't, then you're onto something. But if it brings you value, then you're still stuck in that way of being selfish. And I think, Jeff, we're all guilty of not thinking like the consumer. We think more like the business we're in. So I would type in real estate news. And that's not what the consumer would typically type. They would type in something like, is it a good time to buy? Is the market going to crash? Right? What should I do type of thing? And, and that's, that's really along the lines of where we want people to start thinking so that they can create better content, right? Yeah, people are typing in very specific search terms. And so you have to put yourself in the mind of the consumer, um, which is a pretty decent segue to what we were just also talking about, which is, you know, refining a content approach that is selfless and not for yourself. And, and I know a lot of our audience is real estate professionals, and most of you are guilty of doing what I'm about ready to describe, which is when you create content, it is sharing an award that you won. It's sharing a listing that you're selling so you can make a commission. It's sharing a picture at the closing table, uh, which is bragging once again. Uh, yeah, I know you think you're basically saying congratulations, but you're not, you're, you're basically bragging. Uh, you have to really change the way you think about your content strategy to be selfless, to say, how can I provide content that is valuable to the consumer and not to myself? And in fact, you should actually go out of your way to think, does this actually bring me any value whatsoever? And if the answer is no, it doesn't, then you're onto something. But if it brings you value, then you're still stuck in that way of being selfish. And, and you're not going to gain the reach and the following that you want. And so going back to the Google Trends idea, you know, that's the point. And I used myself as an example, Tristan, and, and, and we can use the example that we use with Leo, but you know, I wanna be known as a social media expert. And that's my selfish side. But the selfless side is I'm going out and aggregating social media news and trends and strategies so that I can take the best of it, the stuff that's most interesting, the most relevant, repurpose it as my own content and then share it out to the world. And so it's really bringing me no value. All I'm doing is doing something that you could do yourself, Mr. or Mrs. Listener, but you won't. And then you're going to end up relying on me to be your uh, to be your cliff notes. We all are very familiar with the cliff notes, right? We all wanted, hey, hey, go read this book. Hey, can you just give me the cliff notes, right? That's what we want so as true. humans, right? And so if you live in Orange County, like Leo Chen does, who, the example we were giving, you know, he's just going and aggregating what's going on in the community. And then he's sharing it. And he's got to get out of his own way to think, well, well the, the, my followers can just go type in the same thing in Google, but they won't mostly. They'll end up follow, seeing Leo sharing it and all of a sudden he becomes their Google. Now he becomes the person they turn to. Tristan, you had, you had your hand up. Yeah, that I wanted to stop you because that goes to the essence of human nature because the, the job's number one brain, the, the brain's number one job, sorry. The brain's number one job is to create shortcuts. That's what it's doing every moment of your life it's identifying what you've done repeatedly so that it could learn it and not have to actually think through it so that it conserves energy think of when you're driving sometimes you space out and you're like oh shit, i'm here um how did i get here that was your brain on autopilot because that's what it's designed to do so look it up there's a bunch of research behind it i've interviewed a lot of brain scientists that is the exact job that your brain wants to do. Bring that into now social media. And of course, that's how it works because now we're providing that information in these short excerpts and we're giving it to you. So you don't have to go search for it because the top five most visited websites in the world are Google, YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. That's where everybody is. They don't wanna go anywhere else. That's why this works.